In this video, we're going to cover the entire installation and setup of Algabox Pro for Ninja Trader 8. Alrighty then, let's come on down here into the training window, get right to things. There is going to be a lot covered here. Make sure you are taking notes, pause the video along the way, and make sure you follow all the details as you're getting your stealth set up and the installation for this uh, for the Algobox. And we got a lot of questions at the very beginning, so I'm going to start from what Algobox should look like out of the box once you are installed. I've got a little dev box here going on here, and this is what your setup should look like. There are multiple charts, multiple time frames for a single instrument. So what should come out of the box is at this time going to be ES. And again, you need to make sure that you're on the proper contract month. If you don't know what that is, ask questions over there in the chat box, but you'll see what contract month you are in at the top of each one of these. This is the 0920 contract currently. But again, if you're watching this video at a later time, you might be at a different one, but that is important to note. But this is how your charts should look when they come out of the box. However, when you first set up, if you don't have data feed yet, you will need to get a data feed and we are going to walk through that part as well. Um, yeah, let me show you guys the primary window for Ninja Trader. If you are not familiar with Ninja Trader, we'll, we'll walk through a little bit of that as well. Now, when this is um, in a compact mode here, um, some of the buttons look a little bit different. So I'm going to show you what happens as I expand this out. You'll notice it says new and tools right up here at the top. But if I expand this out, you'll start to see workspaces, connections, and help. Now, again, those can turn into icons, so not to be confused. If I am in future videos clicking on the little connection icon, that is the same thing as connections. Workspaces, help, this is where if you are trying to send us your machine key ID, we get a lot of people who are asking, hey, what's my machine key ID? The machine key ID comes from Ninja Trader. You need to go into the help about section to kick get that um, machine ID, and that's how we enable your system, okay? Tools and setup. So I'm gonna squeeze this back in here, and that way you get familiar with the smaller icons, but just know that if I'm talking about connections, that if you don't see connections written out there, it's because it looks like this little icon right here, okay? First place I'm gonna go there, go into connections, and I am currently connected to what's called the playback connection. New terminology, if you are looking for the Ninja Trader 7 installation and setup videos, look in the links down below in the description. This is for Ninja Trader 8, but the 7 stuff is going to be in other videos that we have done in the past, okay? That is referred to as the market replay connection. Now it is called the playback connection. Take that note, okay? Once you are connected to that, you will see this little window up here. Oh, my arrows are terrible tonight. There we go, all right, here in this playback, I'm gonna move this around. You can see this little floating window and you can put this wherever you want, but this is how we control the playback of any date. We can download with uh, Ninja Trader 8, we can download market replay data, or we can use our own historical data. The difference between these two, I wanna address this right away after you get installed and hold, after you get installed. Hold with me, I am gonna walk through the entire installation, so you're like, wait, I'm not there yet, not installed yet. This is for the people who already have this installed and set up and they're at this spot hung up. I am going to walk through the entire thing, but hold tight because this is going to be helpful to you. Market replay versus historical data. Two different types and they both work. You can do market replay, which is now called playback. Again, get ready for the new terminology. Okay, playback. You'll be hearing us use those synonymously in market replay, but they are trying to distinguish between market replay data and historical data. Okay, now they're going to say things like this as your warning. This mode is generally less accurate than using market replay. There's no level two market data depth in this mode. That's okay. We don't need level two data for that. Don't worry about that. It doesn't matter. We just need the top level and we'll talk about that later in market replay videos. But I just want to make that note if you are trying to figure out what you got going on there. Okay, I'm going to click back on the market replay. Oops, hopefully this will free me up here. Oh no, it's going to get hung up. I'm going to pause the video here real quick while it flips back. All right, and we're back. And so back and forth between market replay and historical, there's going to be an entire uh, video devoted to showing you guys market replay and how to use that. Just know that there is a nuance between each one. You can play it at high speed up to 1,000x normal or as fast as your computer can go. Um, those are things that we'll talk about in the market replay video. So make sure and watch that one. Um, let's talk about the contract rollover month. Big deal, okay? This, uh, I know we talked about it briefly a moment ago. Let's click over here and get my drawing tool. So right here, please do not uh, be confused, right? This is the 0920 contract. You will need to select the proper contract month. If you don't know what that is, again, go watch some more videos around that. Um, I'll show you guys our uh, archive YouTube channel. You can head on over here and you need to understand what contract rollover is. Very simple concept around e-minis, but know how to roll over those contracts. Go watch this one. How I approach contract rollover is probably a good video if you are new to futures and don't know what that is. But this should be your setup when you come in to it. Now, one thing you need to know, what data do you have? Because again, right now you are trying to focus on getting your data set up. And yes, I will walk through the install, so hold tight. But 
right click on this little window, just somewhere in the blank area. I'm gonna right click, this little menu comes out and I'm gonna look for this. It says show available data. That way you will know what data you have available to you. Click right here. And again, if you are doing our installation, we should have 40 days of market replay data already in there for you. And if you have a live connection, you'll also have historical data that has shown up on your system as you have been using um, the markets that is saved local to your PC. You can play on either one of those. So you'll notice that there are some dates back in 2018 here for my current setup. Uh, when you are getting this later, again, this could be later dates, but we can roll back any date series that is available in this setup and you can get more data and we'll walk through that again in the other stuff. But if you're trying to get set up initially, if your charts are not loading and they are blank, it is because you need data. That is the main objective. If you have problems with any of this, please contact anybody there in our public chat area that can walk you through or myself, Curtis, one of the other members will help you get set up, okay? There we go. So this is what it should look like. Let's close out and go to the installation from the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and save my workspace here. Closing this out now. People start at different levels. If you are, if you already have NinjaTrader and you have AlgoBox installed, I'm gonna walk through that first because you need to uninstall your current version of AlgoBox, all right? Um, if you don't have NinjaTrader, you need to head on over to the NinjaTrader website, ninjatrader.com slash download, or just type in download NinjaTrader, okay? You are going to be selecting for this one. We want the NinjaTrader 8 version. Click on download, install NinjaTrader. It's a quick install, and there's a free version, and there is paid full lifetime and lease options available there for NinjaTrader. If you're using the brokerage, you get discounts, all that kind of jazz, okay? So you'll download NinjaTrader, go through the installation. NinjaTrader 8 should already be installed. It's a next, next, next finish installation process, so I'm not gonna walk through that, but do download it from the website and you're good to go. Now, you're gonna need to head to our website to actually download, um, let me pull this up here, one second. Going to our web page. One moment, please. Okay, so if you're on our web page, and there are several ways to get to it, but up here at the top, we can click on the trial button if you are brand new with us. Um, click on that free trial. And again, it's the same thing if you are downloading the full version or the other, it won't matter either one of those. You can click right here, Algo Assisted Trading Software. Both of them will take you to the same location. This is how we download. It's all the same, okay? Now we're gonna click on here, download the free trial. It doesn't matter what that version says right now. You'll need to fill out the form. Once you fill out the form, you are going to receive an email. So you need to make sure you use a valid email address so that you can get the information. Fill out the form, but this is what the form looks like. I just want you to be familiar that you will be looking for something like that. Now, um, once you get that back, it's gonna take you to a page <clears throat> that looks like this, okay? This page is gonna come up and you're gonna need to select AlgoBox and T8 beta is here, there we go. Now, when you click on this, this is going to take you, you'll see something like this says preview available, just click on the download button. It may ask you for, you know, which Google Drive you wanna use, doesn't matter what, you're just gonna hit download anyway. They're gonna give you some warnings and things like that. You're gonna need to ignore the warnings, save your file and continue on, okay? Now, assuming that you already have the file on your machine, um, it should look like this. This is the icon that you're gonna see, AlgoBox Pro 8.5.0.3 beta. That's our current version, but yours may be different, so take that as a note. This is our current latest version, so while we're walking this through right now. So we'll go ahead and double click on this. Um, let's see, oh, I forgot the uninstall. Okay, so if you are, if you already have our system installed, let's go into your control panel. There's several ways to uninstall our product. Uh, let's go to your documents. So under your documents folder, you're gonna have NinjaTrader 8, and there's our uninstall file. Several ways to get to this. Again, there's all kinds of geek junkies, lots of ways to uninstall our product. You can go in a control panel, standard way, but if you just run this, it's gonna be the same thing, okay? Uninstall the old version right there, and that's gonna run through um, the uninstall. Let's go ahead and run through that first. Uninstall, wait for it. Okay, just so we'll uninstall it, and it takes a minute. There's quite a few files involved with our stuff, but you'll see everything kind of start to, to get cleaned up there. And we'll pause the video here. This just takes a while to uh, do removing files. All right, so it should say successfully removed from your hard drive. You click OK. Now again, this is for the folks who already have a version of AlgoBox already installed. You'll need to go through that uninstall. If you're not, you're brand new with us, you may not have to go through that step, okay? But now I've got a clean system. We don't have any AlgoBox installed on it. We've downloaded our NinjaTrader 8. We got that going, no problem. Um, we'll close this out here and <clears throat> Let's go next, next, finish. All right, so we've launched the installer. Next, next, agree to terms and conditions. You know the drill, and next. 
Okay, so this is going to do the installation. That will take a few minutes. While this is going, I'm going to use that opportunity to show you guys what you need to do if you need to get data. Okay, so go through that setup and install. But let's say that you need to go to NinjaTrader and you have not ever set up NinjaTrader. A little bit different. You know, this is not like your typical fly-by-nighters or the retail stuff. You're going to have to get your own data feed. So we've got an entire section on that in Discord. If you're not in our Discord chat, you know, watch some of our other videos. The links are down in the description, but you need to head over here to the left-hand side where it says platform and brokerage information. That's where we currently are on the left, okay? Now, there's lots of information in here. It's uh, still, it's like a one-pager. So take your time, go through these, know what they're looking for. Now, this link right here, this is nintrader.com forward slash free live data. If you do not have um, data or you're going through a two-week free trial, you can go and grab that. That is gonna give you two weeks of free simulated data. <clears throat> that is live data, meaning live in the markets in real time okay and again we're going to show you we've talked about market replay you can play stuff back from historical but if you want a live data feed you can get a free version for a short period of time there and again when you are live with us it's only around eight dollars a month for the data for most of our stuff so if you got questions around that ask myself or curtis there in the room we'll get you set up but you can head on over all the details are here in the platform and brokerage information we tell you which ones to go with again if you're in the united states and you're inside a ninja trader you know just select the doorman if you're outside the united states select phillips just keep that as a simple way um, when you are trying to decide once you're in the ninja trader brokerage you're going to have to decide between two different brokers in there and doorman for the u.s phillips capital for outside the u.s okay keep keeping it simple for you guys it doesn't matter if you go with phillips or not or the other honestly if you have a preference then do it now some folks who are in canada you might have a few questions about that again canada canada has some of their own little rules around stuff like this but now ninja trader and all of our awesome um margins that are now available to canadian brokers you'll need to go here down at the very very bottom at least at the time of this video maybe they make that easier in the future but if you're trying to get in contact with them that is the information as well pretty extensive on all of that uh, of course make sure you're familiar with our e-mini main chat where the most of our public chat goes on and this is the place to ask questions there is a technical support section down at the bottom but someone will direct you there if you need to get in with a free um free technical support from us and get uh, remoted into your computer if you have any problems. Okay, so the installation is pretty much finished now. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that view my next steps. If you are brand new to our system, you might wanna take a peek at this. A lot of folks who are with us for a while already know a lot of this, and we're gonna go through these in the, in the video trainings and things, but if you're trying to look to see like, well, what exactly is involved? Um, this isn't an extensive full list, but this is a, uh, there's a lot going on here. Um, but just want to get you kind of set up for what you're looking for. Make sure and read through some of these things like what you're going to be doing for your next steps, how to get involved with the audio room, lessons one through six at the core, and all that stuff, chat room rules, etc. Take, take a peek at that PDF, maybe print it out, stick it on your wall, something like that. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to have to pause the video there. I just closed out my dev box. All right. So I closed out the entire dev box there, clicked on the wrong X. Let's close out just the PDF there. Go ahead and click exit and we are good to go okay so now algobox should be installed on your system remember algobox is on top of ninja trader ninja trader is the platform algobox is the product running on top of that platform okay now i'm going to come down here and i'm going to launch my ninja trader 8 64 bit most people have 64 bit operating systems so make sure you're running ninja trader 8 64 bit there are two icons when you get that installed 64 bit is important you guys should probably already know that if you are using UAC if you've got your computer kind of locked down again I really recommend that you have disabled firewalls and that you have turned down your UAC if you don't know what that is I'm gonna quickly go into that so I'm gonna type UAC here this is something called and this is Windows by the way okay change user account control settings this is something that I recommend most people turn this all the way down. Again, I'm expecting that this is not going to be being used on your personal PC. What we do here is, you know, professional level stuff. We want you to dedicate a machine to what we do here. I wouldn't recommend this, you know, if this is on your personal PC and things, you know, keep that security high. But on this machine, at least when you're going through the installation and setup, if you're having issues, make sure that you've got this turned down or that you're very familiar with run as administrator, okay? I don't have that turned on, so I don't have to deal with the run as administrator, but if you have the, your settings turned up or you've got a lot of security on your computer, again, I really recommend, I hate making this recommendation because, you know, I, I'm, I can't tell you to be less secure, but there are things like within the system that you're, you're gonna need to either be very familiar with your OS or you're gonna have problems, okay? Another thing is firewalls, okay? We're gonna go into your firewall settings and you really have got to allow 
all of the things from NinjaTrader to go through, and that can be extensive. We've also, AlgoBox is making connections out and in. We are sending data back and forth, and you're also getting chart setups from my system and from our servers. You're gonna need to really, I, I recommend that you kind of either turn your firewall off if you're having problems, or just get in there and you're really gonna have to know your stuff if you're gonna you know, play around with your firewall settings. All of mine are currently set to disabled, but that can be a problem. We've had many people who have those issues. I'm gonna show some of those issues um, real quick. I'm gonna go down into our technical support section. Again, we got a lot of sections in here, but there is a full tech support. I'm gonna go here to NinjaTrader 8. Here's the common stuff that people are having issues with as they get the install, okay? If you have too high of a security setup, and I'm gonna say too high, but you know what I mean. Okay, run as administrator. You're gonna have to do this if you've got your machine locked down. This kind of allows additional features. Um, you know, this is OS level stuff. This is not related to <coughs> NinjaTrader or AlgoBox, but this is Windows, okay? You need to make sure that you have all of these checked if you're gonna be trying to mess with firewall stuff. Allow NinjaTrader through, however, there may be other things later, um, like when you're trying to connect with AlgoBox that may have problems. If you have this enabled, you're going to have to go through and enable all, of, allow all the stuff through, and it's going to be kind of a pain. If you're having problems, just I'm telling you, you got to turn that stuff down or really get involved inside of making sure your ports are open that can talk back, okay? Um, user account control, this is the default. Again, I recommend putting that slider down just for this computer. Again, it's assuming that this is all you're gonna be using this computer for, I don't recommend you doing this on you know, a personal PC and stuff like that. This is what yours typically looks like if you're on a firewall, but again, you show I showed what that looks like. But if you're having problems with that, these are some of the troubleshooting things that you might need to go through. Um, and again, uh, myself or Curtis can try to get you through that, but most of the time I will <clears throat> tend to recommend turning it off for now, at least if you're getting through the installation to get you going, okay? So here are those blank charts that I talked about from before. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on my playback connection to go ahead and connect up. So we'll, <clears throat> we'll pause here for a minute, but this is the, the loading section as you are coming in after you've got the fresh installation. This is what your blank charts will look like, and we need to make sure we've got some data. Go All right, we're back. Uh, so now we get to get into some of the other fun stuff. So right up here... We are wanting to talk about color linking. Um, at the each, at, on top of each of these charts, you'll uh, I guess I should do this in yellow. All right. Uh, so these little color squares at the top left of each one of these. That purple one right there. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this one right now, but this one right here, the purple dot. That can be changed to any color, but this is called color linking. We'll do this in another video, going into details about kind of expanding out. Your, when you're going from one screen setup to multiple screen setup, um, this is how you do that. So these are all linked to purple. So that means when I change any one of these charts, if I wanna right click this chart and change instruments from ES over to anything else, whether it is you know, NASDAQ or a Forex or a stock or anything like that, if I wanna change it, it's literally gonna change on all the charts that are purple, okay? Pretty simple. If I have green ones, so I may want a green section for NASDAQ, I may want a blue section for the Dow, etc. so that when I change those um, on the market, re on the contract rollover or switching any other uh, contract, it, I don't have to do it on every chart. Very, very handy tool. These are already color linked for you, so that's how we change. Um, another note, should have talked about this at the beginning. This is for a standard one screen, you know, 1080p setup. Um, if you don't know what that is, so this is kind of an industry standard 1080p. What does that mean? That is not, that is if you're using a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Again, today, now, most, uh, most people have 4K monitors, but a 1080p is one miniature screen. Again, we really expand, we, we encourage you to expand beyond this, but we set it up like this, so it comes out of the box for somebody who's got just a very, you know, simple beginner setup, 1080p. If you are a veteran, you probably got multiple screens like me. We're just showing this out of the box. It comes like this, but feel free to expand. We'll do other videos, particularly on that topic, but this is the square. Now, um, other thing I want to go to, let's go to the options menu. So colorings, all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to walk through all of my settings. So to do this, we're going into your, whenever we say NinjaTrader control panel, okay, this is the NinjaTrader control panel, the one I showed you at the beginning, expanding out. Okay, this is the control window, NinjaTrader control panel. Okay, I'm going to go to tools, options down here at the bottom, and I'm going to show you guys some things. Um, once you go live, you see this little global simulation mode? This prevents you from accidentally smashing the button and going live before you want to, okay? Again, keep this on until you know, you're deep into our program. Technically speaking, if you run through our entire program, it's 120 days. 
um, that we estimate that it's going to take for somebody to get through the entire thing from a brand new beginner. Again, some people are faster, some people are slower, depending on where you are in your career. Okay, but we want to uncheck this when you're ready to go live. But this will prevent any accidental slip ups. Okay, but if you can't trade live for some reason, a lot of people need to know then maybe your global simulation mode is checked. You're going to need to uncheck that in order to trade live. Okay, I'm going to click on options. And I'm gonna show you guys all of the options that I like to use currently. Again, this may change in the future, but um, go through these. Hopefully, can you guys see these? Yeah. So I recommend taking a screenshot of these. Um, there we go. That's probably easiest to see. Okay. One thing that's very important: this play consecutively. This does not get come checked by default. You'll have some problems if this is not set like this. Again, if you're, you can play with it, your preferences, but this isn't a key one. I don't care if you uncheck some of these if you don't want all the sounds, but this one particularly, at least start out this way and then later on um, change it, okay? Um, there are some pretty neat colors with Ninja Trader 8, Slate Gray um, is kind of the default, which you kind of see with the colorings of Ninja Trader 8, Slate Gray right there. Um, I, you'll notice in some of my videos, I've got the dark theme as well. I kind of like the dark stuff. Um, really, really helps on the eye stuff, but you take your preference on that. All right, here are my settings for this stuff. Now, one of the things I do recommend um, and kind of tell everybody to do. So people um, tend to, oh shoot. How many times have you heard people talk about the psychology um, behind going from live to sim, okay? This simulation color may seem like something small, but I recommend changing this. The simulation color, I forget what the default is. I know I've changed this to basically make it that my live, that my sim, that they're the same because you need to mentally always always feel like you are trading live. You need to feel the psychological components. This is important in my opinion. So one of those things that I've got set, okay? Um, rest of these, you know, check, uncheck, match yours to mine, okay? So that was, uh, we showed the general. I'm going to trading on here left. Now I'm gonna go to strategies. There we go, all those are checked, except for that one. This one, keep running on connection loss. Okay, next, automated trading stuff. Um, I never really mess with this. Don't know what this stuff is particularly. Um, once you are live, you wanna change this default account to your live account, okay? But for simulation, market replay, keep it right there. Market data, um, some of these are important, okay? Um, don't worry about those. Uncheck the first three. There you go. All right, you just you guys are smart folks. Copy, pasta. All right, filter bad ticks. I think that's a non-default. Um, this one, download COT data at startup. Go ahead and click on that. There you go. All right, that's it under the tools and options, setups and components. All right, so once you get to this point, you are pretty much ready to go. Now again, we are currently connected to the historical. Uh, market replay data connection. Let's talk about connection setups if you are doing the two week free trial. You'll need to come over here, click on disconnect. Okay, so I'm clicking on the connections, disconnect, and I'm going to click on configure to set up a new one. All right, so disconnect that one, connections, configure. Actually, let me back up real quick. You see this chart up here? See how there's nothing on it? This little F button is uh, important. I'll show this in some other videos specifically on making adjustments to your chart. But if any if anything kind of shows off and it goes off your screen, you're like, what happened? That F button, I don't know what it specifically stands for for them, but it, it's the fix it button. All right, fix it, fix it. All right, auto fix, click it, boom, all of a sudden it adjusts. Some things like this too. If your chart gets all squeezed up and ends up looking like this, and you're like, dude, what's going on with my chart here? Click the fix it button, boop, okay, auto fix. Handy little option as you are coming into the program. We'll talk about chart manipulation in another video on end to end. Okay, so back to connections. I'm going to configure. So here is our window for configurations. Um, over here on the left is your list of available options for setting up connections. If you're doing the NinjaTrader stuff, you will be on NinjaTrader Continuum. This is where everybody pretty much gets set up. NinjaTrader Continuum, right here. There's Kinetic. If you've got Kinetic, etc. Again, what we recommend. NinjaTrader um, going through their brokerage and using the NinjaTrader Continuum. All right, so I'm going to double click it and that will put it down here in my list now of configurable setups, okay? Now, at the top here, you can give it any name you want um, for your My NinjaTrader Continuum. You can connect on startup or not. If you do that, obviously it will, when you launch NinjaTrader, it'll automatically get connected. Usually that's something you wanna have connected for whichever one is your primary. So if this is my primary main connection, I would check this and say connect on startup, okay? 
username and password. So this is what you are going to get from NinjaTrader. You will receive an email. Make sure you use proper emails. Don't do any of that you know, fake email stuff. Use the email that you're gonna use, put in your username and password that they give you, and this is for live or the trial. If you do the trial, they'll give you trial ones. If you are live, they'll give you live information. Now, you see this little demo checkbox? Very important. If you are going through their demo, you gotta have that checked. If you are not in their demo and you're trying to do live, uncheck this box, okay? Some people leave this checked and they're like, I don't know, stuff messes up. Just make sure that you, if you're demo, check it. If you're not, uncheck it. <clears throat> username and password, click on OK and apply. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, it's probably going to yell at me because I'm not putting in my credentials right now. That's okay. So once you do that, then it will show up in your connection list. And of course, if you set it to go at startup, you'll automatically connect. But this is how you manage your connections. Click on that connection and you're good to go. That'll start filling out your charts and you are ready to go. All right, folks, that's it for this video. Thanks for hanging out for me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang. I'm sitting out of the Big H Town. See ya! And if you stay till the end over here in the top right, you will see the next video in the series. See you in the next one.